Hi friends, COVID-19 is a disaster that we hear or speak about these days. I am Vignesha Nair. I am studying in 6th standard in Infant Jesus High Secondary School. Today, I am going to tell a few words about what I think about COVID-19. COVID-19 or Corona is one of the most deadly and dangerous epidemic the world had ever seen, heard or read before. Though, the world witnessed many diseases and disasters on humans such as plague, cholera, malaria, Spanish flu and so on in the past, this so-called COVID-19 is a new virus which is not in the history of diseases on record. It was a shell-shocking news when initially heard about. The origin of this killer epidemic was reported from China at Wuhan in December 2019. COVID-19 is a highly contagious disease which affects our respiratory system and our blood. It develops a rapid inflammation in our lung which is known as pneumonia which makes our breathing critical. It also destroys our red blood cells which results in the failure of oxygen transportation by our blood. Both the circulatory and respiratory failure which develops in a matter of just 5 days kills the person. Thus. Every effort should be taken to prevent this contagious disease which spreads through the micro droplets coming out while coughing or sneezing. It has a long incubation period of 14 to 21 days. This pandemic can be effectively prevented by proper hand sanitizing, use of face masks and social distancing. No doubt, the moment when we got this information, its serious consequences and deadly nature, we took all the precautions and preventive measures to check and block all the probable entry possibilities of this killer epidemic. A lockdown of the entire country and its all territories including Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep was declared instantly and all moving things abruptly came to a grinding halt. All the transportation of men and material by air, water and ground were ceased immediately and the trains had stopped their services at the stations where they reached. Factories and workplaces, schools, colleges, markets and all other human gatherings were suspended and people were isolated in their own exclusive residences and isolated them from intruders and external contacts since 25th March 2020. Currently, we are in a situation that the lockdown is gradually getting unlocked. All the expatriates are brought back to India from heavily infected zones through our Vande Bharat mission. Though our cases are gradually on a rising toll, all the efforts are taken by our government and the health department to prevent the community spread as much as possible. Precautions against COVID-19 currently followed in India are All are advised to wear a face mask and asked to breathe filtered air. Washing hands with soap and water or use of hand sanitizer for 20 seconds very often is necessary. Wearing gloves and keeping a social distancing of 1 meter when and where one-to-one -one contact is necessary. All movement of people, entry or exit anywhere is restricted strictly to avoid the social spread of virus. All the expatriates returning from heavily infected zones are strictly quarantined for 28 days to avoid the spread of virus in our society. All the quarantined people are screened for COVID-19 infection during their quarantine period itself and treated promptly if infected. All the medical professionals dealing with COVID-19 positive patients are seen to wear proper protective gears including personal protective coveralls, N95 masks, goggles, double glove, shoe cover and face shield. It is the responsibility of each one of us to protect ourselves from this deadly disease. We should be very careful to follow all the instructions given by our health department and government which is already mentioned. Almost all the scientists in this field are on tour till today to find a vaccine for this epidemic. Reports coming on shows that they are on their last lap of invention. We hope pray and try for a permanent medicine, vaccine and let's curing be in your hand reach within a short time. Thank you.